I think I need to make a dedicated Sucks to Suck uh, server. Hmm. It's, it's 24 hours, by the way. Uh, oh, that's, yeah, uh, yeah, 24 hours, yeah. All right, so, um, wait. Oh, shit. They're playing... The Okay, all right, they've started, they've started. All right, let's go. All righty. Awesome. We have got Denim Dan versus Beefy, round one. They didn't let me get set up. In the future, guys, let me get set up if you're on stream. <laughs> <laughs> they, they realized their mistake. Um, all right, so Beefy with, with me, Brawler. I'm very excited for this because he's been doing the work, um, doing the work here. Dan tried and true with Ganondorf. Um, yes. Definitely has the chops. I, I think the most threatening online gun in right now. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so Beefy's biggest um biggest strength is again spacing with that shot put and also uh, down throw up B or down throw up air into anything else that he wants. Um he's very consistent with this sort of stuff. Mm. And I think it's a matchup, me brawler particularly, that is um un unknown. Lots of things can get in the way, like DI mix-ups and, and what option, like a burst option, both out of shield and uh, an advantage. We see here that uh, Dan's really struggling for that first kill, and as I say that, he has taken it um, in a kamikaze attempt. Dan does not take much to get uh, started, but no. um, it's like how much time, it's, it's how much damage he takes during that time needed. Yeah, for sure. And it's, it's just kind of the nature of Ganon as well, like... You know, like you're either gonna you're either gonna get some like silly things really quick and kill them super early, or you will get thrown around like a ragdoll. It's like, well, yeah, one you, of two can, ways. you kind of get thrown around. You get thrown around until you throw your, like until you throw around yourself. Exactly um, right. Exactly right. Yeah. So so Ganon and I think Dan in particular, smart man, uh, can definitely like learn it, learn as he goes. Yes. He might take this game to to figure out a game plan, but we'll figure out more and more as he goes. The, the biggest issue about um, best Ooh, of three, there we go. oh my god, an incredibly stylish kill there, is that you only have one more game now, Dan. Um, mm, yes. If you're Dan, you only have one more game. And Dan does have a couple of backups up his sleeve. He does, he saved them for very, very special occasion. Um, but we could see a swap if we ever needed to. Um, Beefy as well has quite a few people in his entourage. Ooh, I'll peep, I'll peep there. I'll peep the room for some spoilers. Same bands for stage. Let's beefy, yeah, I, I beefy with the that. first win. Yeah, beefy with um very swift. Yeah, very commanding. Uh, two stock to start to start the set. Oof. Um, I don't think stage matters in this particular point. I think this is purely a matchup thing. They're going. Um, they're but going, I also think that they're going to lilac uh, for a bit of a spoil. Ooh, lilac. Yeah. Um, I imagine this is more of a comfort pick than it is a tactical advantage. But I do believe the slants might help with things like shot put. Mm. Um. Just the angle in which it clips ledge might be different. Um, so we'll see how it goes. All right, game two. Same characters, but this time Lilat. Come on, Dan. Let's see you pull something out. Of, pull something out. Give us a game three. So Dan, colloquially, uh, in the vast lore of, of Smash Brothers, is called Demon Dan. Um, <laughs> he does have the ability to pull out in the same... Uh, same amount of damage. Beefy starting off very quickly with um, forward air into up B. Um, again, we see there um, the the ability to, to chain with up tilt has been a big boon um, for me, Brawler. I think it's it's a much more far reaching move than it. It's on. It's actually very fast too. Yeah, right. There we go. I, we see a shot put. I go still ahead. don't know that much about me, Brawler, as a character. To be honest, I've seen it a little bit more over the last few weeks. But uh, I so, yeah yeah still still don't. Don't super know what to expect. So every time uh, something big happens, I'm very surprised. Yeah, and we already see Dan kind of has the right idea that he goes for the uh, the tech read um, on the miss tech for, yeah. for, for side B. Um, almost hits with that forward smash again, just unlike, unlike with the timings. But um, he has got the right mindset in mind. This is They're both at kill percent, believe it or not. So <laughs> it's certainly something that both people can work with. Good back air, center stage, not going to be enough. Also, be unfortunate wave bounce, but does uh, clip with the... Shot put at the bottom. There um, we go. Immediately evens it up. Evens there. it up. Even Stevens coming into a midpoint of this game, second act of this uh, of the set. Um, good jump read there from Dan. Uh, flip jump, um, arguably better than ZSS's. 
uh, the the uh, thing about me brought up from from Smash Four to this game was the the weight change ability. This is now a standardized me who's only uh, mixing up. His only uniqueness comes from their move pool. Yeah. Um, a lot of these, a lot of me's were a lot more broken in Smash Four because of their ability to become small and and light. Um, but I think that while they have been you know nerfed coming into this game. Their, yeah, their surprise factor is really a big deal. Um, great, Sabio from Dan again. Good up smash read, and most importantly, the spot dodging. I think people have a very big tendency to play this game like a turn-based game. Um, and they'll shield, and they'll, uh, they'll shield, then attack, then shield, then attack. Uh, mixing up that option to mix up tempo is important there. Mm. That will kill, off the top. Poor DIN. Um, but Beefy, certainly... Uh, not taking any chances there. Again, immediately even stock. This is the last chance Dan has to to pull ahead for a change. Um, he's been very close to to catch up to Beefy, but does need that extra bit of a push. And he's getting it immediately 70%. And there we go. And Ganon, an up smash will kill Ganon it. Ganon can just pop off like that, you know? Incredible. Like, it, momentum almost doesn't matter with when it comes to Ganon, you know? It's crazy. Dan, borrowing demon time, has secured... An incredible yeah, you, you, GB. You've, you've, heard of, you've heard of witch time. Welcome to demon time. Welcome to guys. demon hours. No, um, wow, that's great. That's great. We love to see. We love to see our first set go into game three. That's great. Yeah, an immediate like not a blowout. Um, BP yeah, close. Showing respect. Prestige key with the resub. Thank you very much. That's my first twelve month sub three. ever, guys. That's my first twelve month sub. Get some hype around that as well. Well done. Mid set. Well done. Shout out to Prestige. Still. If Prestige gets fifty followers by uh, by some point, he will start his first stream. So uh, do keep that in mind. Give the guy a follow. We love him. You know him. We love him. You love to know him. Anyway, are we going to see any change-ups for game three? Well, D Dan's advantage from losing game oh one was that he gets to choose. Oh, my God. Choose, uh, <laughs> Prestige, you fucking madman. Oh, my God. Prestige is gifted five subs. Prestige, you my fucking God. insane, man. Thank you very much. Prestige going off. What a fucking way to start tonight's tournament, guys. Yeah. Definitely a, a show up. <laughs> Showing out for the folks. Thank you, Hollow. Thank you. Do not forget to join the Discord. Because you, you need to be in there to be able to to be able to um to be able to communicate. To, to report your games. Yeah, to so report your games, communicate with your opponents, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um going into game one, Dan chose a comfort pick. Um so now this is Beefy's chance and and Dan is now at an uphill incline. Um, I want to see how much it matters. I think that partially the stage helped, more so um, in that mental about like Eel Lilat, but also the slants for shot put. Um, I want to see if this new and improved Dan, the one who has quote unquote figured it out, will make a difference. Sephiroth has been the pick um, for Beefy going into the final game of the set. Uh, we've seen Sephiroth do, make some waves uh, in other tournaments. And especially beefy in our arenas. Um, we'll see how, how Dan can respond. Uh, a far lighter character. Um, and one that struggles with close quarters combat. But one that is able to avoid that by branching out so far. Um, yeah, tough tough luck for Dan. Cannot figure out the timing for those for those orbs. Mm. Up, throw, up throw Nair doing wonders. Good spot dodge again. And an up smash read. And a forward smash read to boot as well. Great... Micromanaging as well with the movement just to get out of the way. And the first stop goes to Dan right out the gate, mere seconds into this game. That's huge. Um, that is huge. It is very huge. Um, incredible uh, way to remove disadvantage uh, just by using side B, but has also missed a couple techs and will now uh, succumb to a stock of his own. Um, evened it out a little bit. We see, we see Dan a little bit getting a bit of ahead of, ahead of himself. Um, no moves have really connected since then. Good up B there. Nice bit of a scoop there. Side B, and this is where it starts. The missed tech, go for a down tilt, immediate damage. Side B has been uh, down B to close the gap. Good shoulder bash. Definitely one of uh, Ganon's kill options. Mm. Great use of and up B. Equal. Oh, it's not. Sorry, I completely missed that. Wow. No, this is this is uh, Beefy's winner side life on the line. Um, ooh, great turnaround for the for that side B from Beefy. Uh, we'll see how much it matters. Uh, nice recovery from Dan. A little bit over, a little bit wide, but using the down B to recover, um, gain some stage control. The bottom hit of counter sneaking its way into Dan. 
But this is actually quite the advantage. Oh my god, that's it. Wow. That's just the way it ends. Wow. Dan, Dan off. Don't forget. Playing above Dan, his seed and taking Dan, the first uh, set. Punching above his weight class, taking a game for, for the G Jump clan. What what um, a big what a big fucking win for a uh... actually insane game from Dan. <laughs> yeah, incredible work. Dan, fucking hell, man. <laughs> oh my god. Like we know he's an we, we know he's an animal, but damn. He and also, I want to.